Greetings and salutations, audience. It's Mixed Game Mike here for another episode of Ace in the Window. Today we're at the Rio All Suites Hotel and Casino, home of the 50th anniversary World Series of Poker. Well, let's welcome to the show. Matt Stevens. Sorry about my appearance. Hey, how's it going? I just did my laundry yeah. up by the Red Rock. <laughs> yeah, Matt got surprised by us doing a show here. He did not know we were doing a show when he came in today. So and this is how we like to do it. Spontaneous. But, but I like spontaneous, so that's all right. My so middle name. <laughs> just uh, tell us a little about yourself. And, uh, let's, let's hey, tell book. us about your book. Oh, absolutely. Well, I, was, yeah. uh, I spent uh, 10 years, uh, uh, the, probably the most significant 10 years of yeah. the last 50 in Los Angeles as a TV reporter at uh, Cannes. BC and KCAL um, from 1985 to 1995 and that was about the time I think 83 or 84 was about the time the card clubs uh, came into existence there in LA and uh, uh, the bicycle club the commerce uh, the bell club you know, some other ones um, by the time I got there there were a couple of years uh, you know into their uh, run and uh, so I played a lot of cards there. I, you know, played cards with the, a lot of the a lot of the guys that you know are still you know pretty famous today, and they sure. weren't quite as famous uh, uh, back then. Um, and uh, I left LA in '95. Uh, I uh, went to Philadelphia for work. And uh, hey, Philly! Yeah, Philly. Let's go. And uh, but that was the year that I started to write the, this oh, book okay. actually All right. and it's been uh, it's been uh, that many years in the making okay uh, it started out as a present day uh, piece and now it's a period right, piece now it's a period piece from right. 1995 yeah. but uh, um, it's a good read it's fiction uh, uh, with, with a lot of truth in it you know yeah, as sure. most good fiction is and uh, but it's uh, it's about a, a, a you know some of the stuff that used to go on, uh, you know, obviously embellished a bit because of the, uh, you know, because of the nature of the, of the, you know, the genre. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but it's a, it's a, it's a good read. It's about <clears throat> there's a lot of insights about the card clubs back then, mm -hmm. and about what was going on in uh, in Vegas too, mm -hmm. and um, the the uh, protagonist is a. Uh, you know, a guy who uh, went to uh, well, I can't give it away. I don't want to give it away. You know. Okay. So, did you find that uh, stepping away from the LA scene and writing the book, as you say, like you were in Philadelphia? Did you find that stepping away from the scene helped you write the book? Uh, looking at it from an outside in. Yeah, it kind of. It just you know, my my life kind of got in the way of, of writing this thing, and I actually wrote the other one uh, that I have out. Um, uh, right now, it's called a season in Pluto, and you can find that Pluto is a, a fictional town in Ohio. Uh, but you can find that one on Amazon.com. This one is everywhere: um, Barnes and Noble, Amazon, everywhere. Real Grinders Lounge mm -hmm. uh, at sure, a discounted sure. price. Um, but uh, another I actually, reason to come <coughs> on into the Real Grinders Lounge. So make sure you do that. I actually put put this one kind of. I kept putting this one on hold and putting this one on hold. I remember I was I was. Uh, I was covering the uh, a, a big trial in uh, in Philadelphia uh, of a guy. Tom, his name was Tom Capano, and Capano was uh, a, a high-powered lawyer in Wilmington, Delaware, and uh, he was accused. Uh, he he had an affair with the, the scheduling secretary of the governor of Delaware, whose name was Tom Carper, mm -hmm. and uh, she was a younger woman, and he was married, and there was a big big. Uh, you know, affair going on between the two of them, and then he became this uh, this stalker after she, uh, you know, dumped she dumped, dumped him, and uh, he ended up uh, with his with the help from his uh, of his brother uh, taking her out on a boat in the Atlantic Ocean and uh, wow. killing her, and you know, putting some heavy rocks in him, you know, oh, yeah. and and mm -hmm. down she went. Um, so I remember, you know, covering this trial, he was found guilty and then was murdered in prison years later, but. Uh, um, uh, sitting on the on the floor with the, the other reporters while they were, uh, you know, everybody was 
taking their notes and writing their stories for the day or whatever. And I was half writing my story for the, about the trial and half writing this book, yeah. trying, to, trying, yeah, yeah. trying to get it, you know, get it, get it going. But uh, you know, I ended up having three children and you know their sports and all the stuff and everything just kind of got in the way. And finally, you know, once the kids were all gone and in college and everything, and I got the other book out of the way, I finally finished this thing and, yeah. and I got it out last year. And, and uh, I've been. Uh, Happy to have you know good reviews on it. Well, poker players seem to like it. You yeah. know, like the poker part. Yeah, it and, should be interesting. I mean, just just the uh, just the scene of poker in the early '90s is so different than today. It's just mm -hmm. interesting to, to take a look. Back it is, and that was before uh, yeah. there wasn't any online stuff. No, you know, yeah. As a matter of fact, the there was uh, barely any no limit hold'em. I mean, it, was, it was mostly limit hold'em still, right? It was yeah. It was, uh, almost everything was limit. I don't think anybody played uh, no yeah. limit in the clubs at all. We used to play. Uh, I used to play fifteen thirty stud, twenty forty. Uh, I was gonna say it was mostly stud. Twenty forty uh, high low split. The twenty forty games where we used to go over to the commerce and play the forty eighty stud with those uh, with those uh, brown chips, the ten dollar uh -huh. chips, yeah. and uh, and the you know the bigger. The big boys would come to town, uh, uh, you know, for the for the tournaments, you know, for the big tournaments uh, there at the bike and, and play, you know, whatever they wanted, you know, higher, you know, higher games. And I remember playing in a three hundred, six hundred dollar low ball game one time. Yeah. By accident. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'll play, yeah. you know, and then they're like, mm, you're the big blind, six hundred. <laughs> played one hand, won it, won it, yeah. and <laughs> got dealt a, I think I got dealt a, uh, Two, three, four, five, not seven, but an eight. I got dealt an eight, five. That's not in, bad. In the big blind. And uh, won the pot uh, for about 3,200. Realized that I was in way over my head in this game. Because uh, you're not going to be dealt eight, five every time? <laughs> stood, stood up. <laughs> Stood up, pretended I got called into work, yeah, tossed yeah, the yeah. dealer a hundred dollar right. chip, and yeah. racked him up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I know that was funny. Uh, I love to stay, guys. Wow, so. yeah, I'd love yeah. to stay, but uh, you know, work calls. What can I do? Yeah, I would have gone away real fast. <laughs> oh man. But well, so we're here this week for a couple of weeks and playing. I've had two small caches and out of nice. six yeah. tournaments, but you know, nothing, nothing. What what uh, events great. did you play? Uh, I, I I made the second day of that uh, 350 uh, down at uh, the Nugget, mm -hmm. the first one. Okay. Uh, and uh, I'm not really, you know, I'm more of a mixed game player than a, than right. a hold'em player. Yeah, but I mean, I'm good at hold'em. I just don't love it, you know. I read books and watch TV while that's what's going on because there's right. I'm I'm not very uh, imaginative with my with my game. I play aces, kings, queens, right. jacks, mm -hmm. ace king, ace queen. Yeah, you know it's about yeah. it. let him be king eight you know, suited stuff. You, yeah, you, you you send me anything ace ten or less, and I'm not yeah. I'm not <laughs> going to be there. So if, if I'm in the hand, you know I got something. I don't play pairs lower than. Tens. Once yeah. in a while, a pair of nines I'll play. You know, I see these guys firing, the, you know, with two sixes, and I, I could never do that. Yeah. I mean, really, anything that flops over a six, are, didn't you lose? You know, right. <laughs> didn't somebody have some of that? You know? Yeah. So, I don't know. But uh, so I cashed. I finished uh, eighty sixth or something. Uh, got seven hundred and fifty eight dollars. That was at for uh, two hundred. The three fifty at the at the, at the, at the, the nugget. nugget. Yeah. yeah. And uh, but that we were at a disadvantage. Well, Tatiana, you know Tatiana mm, uh, Fox familiar, from Australia. But, uh, so she's a grinder. She's a yeah. friend of mine. She uh, we were both in that same that ninth flight, the last oh, flight, yeah. and it was a seven p.m. start. Mm. And they uh, there were six hundred and sixty one mm. players or something. Oh, so wow. they played it down. They played it down to ten percent. Mm. So by the time there was sixty six left, it was four fifteen in the morning, yeah. and the restart was at noon. Yeah. <laughs> I got like three hours sleep. Right. She she came back. I'm surprised she, you you slept. You could have like screw it. I mean it Stay was up. really yeah. I know it was hard. And uh, uh, she came back too, and she, I ended up 86. She ended up 20th. I mean she had one. She had a chance to win. At one yeah. point she had like one, yeah. 1. 1.6 million chips or something. Wow. So, I mean, that's definitely enough. To, I don't think I ever had over 204 thousand. So yeah. I just kind of grind away, you know, yeah. and get to the. Hit the board. Yeah, try to get to the cash point and then see what happens. Yeah, I and mean, see what happens. Mm -hmm. I mean, I did, the, and I did the same thing with the uh, in the uh, Omaha High Low. I mean, 
I mean, that we started out with 15,000. I don't think I ever had more than 28 or yeah. less or less than 12 and got all yeah. the way to the, you know, top 20 and, you know, never really, get, and then finally get dealt, you know, double suited aces and fire away and some right. guy beat you with a, you know, seven high straight yeah. or something, yeah, something, you know, yeah. but anyway, so, you know, I'm happy that, that, uh, you know, people are responding well to this book and, you know, I've got my next one. Uh, cooking already, so that's good. Uh, that's good to hear. Good deal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, well, we'll be excited for the next I one. I found too. myself a new character out of That's why I stay downtown. Uh, I, oh, I well look for characters out of Forest. There are a few characters. A couple yeah. characters. Since downtown. I write murder yeah, mysteries yeah. with serial killers, <laughs> yeah, you know, you're always looking for right. some mm-hmm. victim out there. <laughs> I found a good one this week. <laughs> yeah. You, you, could, you could have an audition. Yeah, I mean, yeah. plop oh, a I chair, know. plop a chair. All right, right. tell me your story. Yeah, I mean, I mean, would you like to be a victim of my next book? <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, I'll use your name. Uh, yeah. And, and 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 you think you've heard it all, and you just haven't. Yeah. You know, you just, yeah it's it's kind of like poker. You know, you think you've seen it all. Think you have. And occasionally, they show you something you've never right. you've never like, seen. I've not seen that before. And Vegas is, I think, is the perfect conduit for that kind of you know that kind of conversation. You know, let yeah, me tell you, sure. blank, 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 That's and then right. it's like. Yeah, it really is. It's uh, but it's that's what makes it great. You know, that's yeah. what makes it a, such an interesting place. And uh, so, what else you want to talk about? Any uh, wild and crazy stories that you have from the poker table? Like, out of line activity from some player? Poker stories. There's there's a couple of good ones in here. Yeah, and and yeah. they're uh, they're 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 kind of true. Mm, there's one, there's one that that, uh, that I, I remember years ago. There was a there was a a, a fellow, who's a older guy, probably sixty something, an Asian guy, mm-hmm. didn't speak any English. Uh, uh, was playing in the in the fifteen thirty hole uh, limit hole, and uh, uh, all of a sudden there was a there was a, a voice that was coming from over the rail, a woman's voice, and. Uh, comes down the steps at the, at the bicycle club and she's screaming and yelling and this guy doesn't even uh, look up like he knows who it is and she gets right over his shoulder and fi- yelling at his ear and finally he looks up from his cards <laughs> it's his wife <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's screaming at him telling him to get you know what are you doing right and why are you still there there, there was a come home. there was another uh, a Chinese uh, 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 person uh, standing not it wasn't in the game standing nearby yeah, was translating around, yeah. to the floor man what was taking place because he's like oh, what the fuck is going on right. you know so so the, the the translator said said that uh, uh, she, she was uh, angry with him because he had gambled away their whole business oh, yeah, they wow. apparently they owned a couple of liquor stores down in you know China wow. or something and that he would get and and uh, uh, the, the 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 gist of it is is part of the story uh, here. Uh, one of the scenes in the book is that you know one of the one of the other players uh, says, "How the hell can you lose half a million dollars playing fifteen thirty hold'em?" And the guy, the other guy, goes, "Well, he's been in here every day losing five hundred a day. Figure it out, you know, <laughs> five hundred a day times three sixty-five times, you know, four right. years, half a million dollars. Yeah, there you go. And uh, and uh, uh, <clears throat> finally, the the, uh, the the floor man said, "Well, you know, you 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 got to go because you know she's not obviously not going to leave, and I'm not going to call you." Right. So so finally, the guy gets up and he he uh, leaves his chips and walks away, and never to be heard from again. I don't know <laughs> if they even. You know, <laughs> they probably racked him up for him, and right, put him in his up, account yeah. or something. But yeah. yeah, that was a that was a pretty bad one. Wow, that's we, pretty. That's pretty crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, I was at the. I, I saw on the on the on the website uh, on the on the grinders uh, Facebook page that uh, some somebody was talking about a big uh, fight they saw at the uh, at, I think it was Bally's. At Bally's? In, oh, in, wow. in Atlantic City. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, I, was, I was like, I don't no, was that the know other good? There was a Taj, and then people played. Was it at Bally's, right? There was one that was a, well, it was a couple of weeks ago, but there was a big fight at Talking Stick, apparently. Yeah, I think that's why yeah. they were talking about yeah, this yeah. one. And, 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 I, and I, I recalled it because it, I didn't see the fight, but I remember walking in there like 
45 minutes after it was over yeah and i saw that it was like the poker room was like this war zone <laughs> shattered <laughs> bottles everywhere and, wow. and then the cops were all over the place and i'm like Guess there's. I guess I'm not going <laughs> to be playing no any cards day. tonight. <laughs> and then the guy explained, <laughs> "Well, they had a little a little altercation yeah. in here." Yeah, wow. I guess that was one of the one of the. Yeah, we're, we're trying to dry the champagne here. Hold on. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, this is a great group, and and uh, and you know all the. I've met so many, so many yeah. really, really fine, you know, people. Or at least they seem to be fine. I don't know, yeah. they're gamblers, so they're probably, you know, not as fine. <laughs> well, as yeah, I mean, they're gamblers, they're you know, poker players. You know, you know hey, that's that, that's the group. <laughs> that's the group, so, yeah. Well, thanks, you guys, uh, for, for uh, showing the book. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, for uh, sure. This is uh, uh, published by Outskirts Press, outskirtspress.com slash pokerworld. Uh, you get a probably the best price. Barnes & Noble's a little high. Amazon's a little high. Real grinders, you can get it for fifteen bucks, which is about as low as it goes. Mm -hmm. And uh, or deal. ask me for one; I'll pull one out of my trunk, probably there you go. hand it to you. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's a good read, and I, I appreciate uh, your patronage, and uh, that that'll keep me uh, keep me right in the next one, which uh, should Absolutely. be out next year sometime. Maybe we'll by go. the time. Uh, uh, this rolls around again next year. We'll be talking about the new. Cool. One. Yeah, there you I go. Like it. There yeah. you go. We, we've already set up uh, <laughs> the next interview for next year. There we go. Twenty twenty. Right. We got another interview next year. Then. <laughs> thanks everybody. All right. Well, thank you very Good much for you. your time, Matt. Appreciate thank it. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. Thanks for having All right. me. All right. Thanks. Yep. Well, that's it for this show, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you liked it. If you did, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications, and tell us what you thought down below in the comments. Bye now.